Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled Producing for God. That means be fruitful, producing for God. John 15, verse 16 says, You do not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Amen? Ever wonder how some people are able to accomplish so much, grow so much in the Lord? What makes them what makes them so productive? So much change and fruitfulness. Let's fast forward to the end of our lives. What would it take for you and I to be able to say, I led a productive life. I accomplished what I set out to do as a believer. You know, what do you consider to be a productive life? More importantly, more importantly, do you know God's definition of a productive life? Let's consider what it means to be a fruitful Christian. The word fruit occurs 66 times in the New Testament. Three kinds of fruit right, are referred to in the New Testament. One, the kind that we eat, figs, grapes, pomegranates. These are things that we eat. Second kind, biological fruit. That is infants, baby born. And the third kind is spiritual fruit. That means Christ-like character, changing to be more like Jesus. Amen? Now, the Bible defines this spiritual fruit as nine things. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. In Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Now, you know the kind of fruit that God wants produced in your life and in my life. And that's how he defines a productive life with fruits that's growing. Your character change, your life change, your attitude change. Uh, the way we look at things change for the better to be more godly. Jesus said this in John chapter 15 verse 8. This, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. Jesus said, if you are his disciples, you know why I need to change? You know why you and I need to be better? You know, you don't know why we need to be more patient and, uh, and, and more fruitful and more faith? Because you and I want to do it, change to be whom God wants us to be so that we can please our Father in heaven. Amen. The proof that you are a disciple of Jesus is that you bear spiritual fruit. Perhaps you are a good fruit inspector when it comes to examining the lives of others looking at others and judging others you became a very good fruit inspector but what kind of fruit is growing is growing in our lives are you growing more carnal or more christ light are you growing more godly or more worldly are you growing better attitude or bad attitude? To know how fruitful you and I are, examine what's growing in our lives. If you and I like what we see in our lives, keep doing what you're doing, carnality or godliness, whichever. If you don't, we, it's better for us to go down on the knee and pray, God, help us, help us, change us. Help us to change, to bear more fruits for your glory and for your honor that I will shine and live for you. Amen? Amen? So, producing fruit for God, the nine fruit of the Spirit in your life and my life, and Godliness and faithfulness, you know, and all these areas. And you know what? It makes you shine better than what you do, where you are doing and what you're doing. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray in season as this, you help us to be productive to produce godly fruit in our lives. Bless our day. Bless each of us. In Jesus' name, I, we pray. 
Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.